Qingdao, China, the 2008 Olympic sailing venue, and a place where the extreme sailing series lived up to its name. After a spectacular opening ceremony, celebrating stadium sailing for the first time in China, racing soon began. The first two days were hotly contested, each team pushing hard, but one shining through. Emirates Team New Zealand, new to the series, lead the open water phase. By day three, the extreme sailing series was turned upside down. Strong and gusty winds did their best to wipe out the fleet. Four capsizes, one collision, and a broken mast made it a day to remember. A really tough day, very extreme conditions. You'd go from no one to 20 knots in the space of 10 seconds. Huge shifts and massive, massive gusts. It was exciting, very hard to read on the water that were going to be so dangerous. The whole fleet's just experienced carnage. I mean, yesterday was just such a massive day. Just seeing Camise kind of fall from one side and the boat kind of just missing his head, that was a pretty full on uh, capsize those guys had. And they took the biscuit yesterday, and that was impressive. We were right beside the wave when they capsized, I saw it all happen, and uh, yeah, so it was pretty surreal, really. It sort of makes you feel sick when you're watching guys falling underneath the boat. Shook us up for sure. Yesterday we had bad luck because we had no chance. The buff hit us and we did everything what we can do, but it was not enough. All four of us were hanging on because we knew what can happen from the last capsize. Lucky we had our life jackets and helmets on and uh, nobody get hurt and we knew the breeze was coming. We got all the weight as far back as we could, but when it hit, the, the bars just went down and down and down, and you get to that point where the rudder's out of the water, there's nothing you can do except hope. Then you get to the point where you're just looking for your, your exit route. I got a good hold on the trampoline. A few of the other guys managed to get clear quickly, so uh, fortunately for us, no, no injuries on board. went for it and it just uh, didn't work out. Didn't realize that the wind was so strong, you know, I felt kind of safe even if other boats have capsized, that should have ring a bell. And then we did capsize, so, um, so we can say we are very lucky that we didn't break the mast. A lucky escape also for Oman Air's David Carr. Yesterday's crash saw him rush to hospital, but today he's back to watch the racing. It was a rough day for the project yesterday, two capsizers and an injury. I was only out there for half of the first race and I got squashed. It certainly knocked the lads from what I hear. The best way to bounce back is just to go out and perform the next day and clear your head. And that's exactly what the 11 Strong Fleet did. Very different conditions today, but the competition was fierce and intense. Coming out on top after a series and match fleet and speed racing with the Italian team of Luna Rossa. Yeah, yesterday was awesome fun today. Totally different day, but um, yeah, it was a pretty good and successful day for us. Final day, and five boats were well and truly in the mix to take the title. Alinghi and Luna Rossa secured the early advantage, but Emirates Team New Zealand kept the pressure on. Entering the final race, four boats were still in contention for the title, but Luna Rossa came out on top, winning Act Two of the Extreme Sailing Series. Yep, couldn't be happier, absolutely stoked. Emirates Team New Zealand secured second, their best result of the season. Um, yeah, all in all, you know, we're uh, very satisfied. Rounding off the podium, group Edmund de Rothschild from France. A win in the last race of the day just when they needed it most. They now lead the series overall. That's it from Qingdao. Next stop, Istanbul, Turkey, for Act 3 of the 2011 Extreme Sailing Series.